Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I've been working with the Lily Go T Deck with Mashtastic, and it's a great way to use the Lily Go T Deck. Yeah, I have that long 175 millimeter antenna, and I also tried the patch antenna that's included with the T Deck. Now I want to hook one of these GPS modules to the Lily Go T Deck, and we're going to use that Grove port that's on the side of the Lily Go T deck. Yeah, you know, there's a little Grove connector right there. And it's labeled v Ground VCC RX TX. We'll take a closer look at that. And so I got some of these Grove connectors here. I'm going to just cut it in half and connect one half to the GPS module. Look for the links in the description down below. Now, I need to know what pin numbers those are going to equate to because in the Meshtastic position configuration, you have to put the RX pin and TX pin numbers in. There we go, right there. RX is 44, TX is 43, and then you see VCC and ground. All right, great. That answers my question there. Now, I want to... I want to understand whether or not we need to cross those wires. I'm pretty sure we do, but I went ahead and used Copilot to ask my question here. And you see it gets around in the third part there talking about connecting Grove devices. Yeah, and you see there at the bottom it says note that TX and RX should be swapped. So TX goes to RX, RX goes to TX. Answered my question. So we're ready to do this. Here's my GPS module with the Grove cable attached to it, VCC, Ground, RX, and TX. I'm flipping it over here so you can see it. It's better oriented that way to line up with the pins <laughs> in the diagram. Yeah, so here you see RX is going to TX, the yellow wire. The white wire TX is going to RX, and then Ground is going to Ground, and VCC is going to VCC. Now all we got to do is power up the Lily Go T deck, and you can see, waiting. For, there we go. We got the lights on, and the Lily Go T deck's going there. Make sure to always have your antenna attached before you fire up your LoRa devices. All right. So it looks like we've accomplished what we need. Make sure to remember those pin numbers. RX is 44 and TX is 43. Because now we're going to go into the Mesh Tastic configuration. Yeah, let's connect up here. This is the client meshtastic.org. It's the web interface, and I'm connecting via USP. Config, position. Yeah, I keep dorking around with this GPS-enabled switch, and it actually gets switched back off every time. Down at the bottom there where it says GPS mode, you want to set that to enable. You see I got receive pin 44, transmit pin 43. I've gone ahead and saved the configuration. That's going to reboot the device. There, let's reconnect. And now watch that GPS. The switch is will be toggled off. <laughs> See, there, GPS enabled. That switch is toggled off. But down at the bottom, it says GPS mode is enabled. And that's what you need. Along with the pin numbers. And when you look at the Android version of the GUI. It just says GPS mode enabled. There's no toggle switch to turn GPS on and off. And then you got the pin numbers down below. Okay, right now I don't have any GPS lock and I don't have any satellites. It's going to take a few minutes here. Okay, so now, yeah, I have four satellites. I can see Tom East is 6.5 kilometers away in that direction and Max Echo is 22 uh, kilometers in that direction. There's my fix. I'm going to blur that out, and I got five satellites. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. And I show up in the node list with my location. It's supposed to show the number of satellites. Some come through, some don't. I'll have to see if I can figure out why that is. Well, anyway, that's how to connect the GPS module to the T-Deck Grove port there on the side. There's other ways to do it, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Lily Go T Deck videos or my bigger Meshtastic playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.